Welcome back to Jail Time Pod. Is your host Red? Got a video today from Morocco TV. Group of women make fun of a young man for not having money. And he's actually a millionaire. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's give that ciao. It's ciao time. Bro, it doesn't matter if it's been in. All right, nice to meet you guys. You coming to drama tonight? Yeah, we'll be there. Bro, she just said they wait. Did you check out a 1500 for a second? Yes. You don't think we got. They don't think we got 1500. I got that Android. What do you mean? This is. I'm gonna ask you something. Just because I don't have $1500, you wouldn't even talk to me? It's a cold world. Nah, you just said you don't. We don't have enough money to. We don't have enough money to buy a section. I'm just saying, that's the starting season. Damn. Damn. With the way we, with the way we look, we get them for free too. Y'all get them free, right? We get them for free too. I don't know. She just said we're broke as f we don't have fifteen hundred dollars. Come on, let me tell. I know, bro. Sad. You should probably show him what's up. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? You, you said hundred dollars for the yeah. shirt? Hundred, right? Yeah. Matter of fact, double it. Matter of fact, <laughs> triple it. Yeah, give him four hundred. Oh shit. You know, if these girls want to be Miami gold diggers, they got to start doing their research. That guy's a pretty big streamer, right? I've seen him in other streams and other things. It's just so sad that women want to look down on people that way and treat them that way. When, again, like people like me that just wear normal t-shirts everywhere, you wouldn't be able to know. I should not judge a book by its cover because it turns out this guy's a streamer called Clicks and he's worth millions of dollars. Probably worth way more than their absent fathers. Do you prefer chivalry or do you prefer equality? Equality. What about you? I'm gonna agree. What about yourself? Equality. Okay, so you said you're in a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Who paid for the first date? Who paid for it? Yeah. Who paid for the second date? It's been a while. But what you think? Probably him. Interesting. Who paid for the third date if you got a thing? Probably Did him. I, okay, that's not equality. You've used my logic against me. <laughs> How long would you take care of your man if he couldn't work anymore? Mm. And be honest. Like six months. Six months? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's not equality. What about you, Gigi? <laughs> I've done that before, so... But yeah, you so broke I'd up with like, the dude. Well, yeah. So I'd say maybe, like, three months, honestly. Three months. And what about you? i say a year. Huh? The ladies that said that you prefer equality over chivalry, your answers contradicted yourselves. And the fact that I have a timeline on it, that means that it's not equal because men, it's in our nature to provide for a woman forever. So even though you say one thing, which is like a politically correct answer, because the media right now is ruled by the crazy Dems and they socially True. constructed your mind to believe nonsense, sense but true deep down in your deepest part of your soul you don't want equality yeah a lot of women are feminists until they have to pull out their wallet or pull out a gun to fight a war how many feminists did it take to change a light bulb it's a trick question feminists can't change anything <laughs> friendly fire <laughs> oh, God, hi can i Bye. in the home of rich men now we're in mayfair Excuse me, are you guys rich and looking for a wife at all? I'm already married. I'm oh, married oh, can you have like another wife or? Four, four yeah, is the limit. Oh no, that's such a shame. You've got a very nice car though. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Oh my God, that's such a shame. He literally has a G-Wagon. My... Maybe like focus your camera a little bit, girl. Or is it just me? Dream car. What's a girl got to do to get a G-Wagon around here? Get a job. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, a business most people have g-wagons because they have businesses so they can tax right off the whole g-wagon like there's 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 methods to the madness I've been unfortunate enough in life to have impregnated this woman right here about two years ago i was paying child support after we split up however i noticed a really weird phenomenon that every time i pay the child support that's when she'd go and get her hair done her nails done she'd go eating out at the ivy hakusan nobu all of that so it was evident to me that my child support isn't going to my daughter, it's going to Chloe. So you have an issue because it's like every time the money drops, all of a sudden she's in Hakkasan, all of a sudden she's getting her hair done and her nails done. Question, are your kids looked after? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, the case should really be closed. What the fuck? We all know. 
a lot of women use child support money to spend it on themselves, but we can't keep blaming the system. You've got to blame yourself for impregnating the wrong women and allowing yourself to get trapped. No, okay, see, that's a little fucking stupid. If the system is set up a certain way to fuck men over and men get trapped into the system, I don't really think it's men's fault in a sense. Yes, I agree men put themselves in this situation, but the, si the court system s itself is wrong. So if that was fixed, even if men did get themselves into this situation, it shouldn't be like this. You're a Muppet. Is this your type? Nah. That wasn't my type anyway, though. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what is she giving you, though? What, what type you? of vibe? Regular. He called. Regular? Can you give me another balloon? No. Okay. What exactly is your type? Because oh. I'm certainly not regular. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like... In my opinion, I'm I'm great. They'll say I'm great. But what is your type? What do you call great? <laughs> what do you mean what do I call great? You said you're great. What do you call great? I'm intelligent. I'm super I'm I'm beautiful in my opinion. I know what I want in life. Um I'm a legal assistant. I have a great career. I have a lot going for myself. At the end of the day, I know what I want. And that's all you could want from a woman. At the end of the day, she knows... Why are you telling us what all we should want from a woman? Is that what we want? What she wants. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Can we go that, to the next time? one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're the boss. She's so intelligent and sure of herself. Why does she care so much about being rejected? And why is she participating in this show? And why the fuck has this donut got a dog hanging off his chest <laughs> like a baby? Hey, nothing wrong with the Frenchie being there. I like the Frenchie. Why? Why? It's so sexy to me when he does masculine shit. When I see him working on the yard, when I see him fixing the house, when I see him just like talking to a guy in a certain way and his like masculine tone comes out and, mm. and I just see him in real life or like he views someone in the store and he's like, ah, they're moving a little funny, get on this side of me. Like mm -hmm. that shit is sexy. See, women want that and it's a primal thing yeah. it's it's a procreation it's thing agree with this. you know we want to be whether women want to admit it or not we want to be soft we we, we want to be around a man that we don't got to embrace our masculinity right because that man will go and embrace his masculinity and Equally so, I feel like men also don't want to be masculine all the fucking time. You know, there's times where they want it's to come tough. home and they want peace yes. and they want love and they want somebody they could just be. Chuck, even in my videos, you guys don't see me all macho macho every time. You'll see me fucking put in emotions here and there. It's, it's, it's life. We can't hide everything we feel. It's hard. And if you can, kudos to you, man. There are men that can be very stone faced at every single moment in their lives i try to be but definitely not one of them be like their little self with this is your safe space and just recharge him for life i like this one mm. so she tried to blackmail this hockey legend by taking a photo in bed with him but the problem was he just didn't care basically in 2016 yaramir yager was one of the best hockey players in the world and in all of history at the time he was the leading scorer among all active nhl players so when a model who had just turned 18 named Catherine got a chance to sleep with this 43 year old star she decided to secretly take this photo of the two of them to try to blackmail him Catherine reached out to yaramir and told him that if he didn't pay her two thousand dollars she would leak this photo to the press $2, for the entire $2, world to see but to Catherine's surprise yaramir simply responded with i don't care so in retaliation she leaked the photo but what's crazy is that although yaramir was completely single at the time Catherine actually had a boyfriend and to make things even more embarrassing for her yaramir yager was her boyfriend's idol it's an evil world we live in Catherine is a disgrace hopefully the boyfriend moved on and he sent Catherine to the streets and if i'm the hockey player i'm giving the boyfriend free tickets for life the first thing that i noticed when you came out uh i normally don't care about so i don't know why i'm even saying it but your uh, nails and toes aren't done. Uh, so for some reason that stood out to me this specifically specific time. Come on now, dog. Come <laughs> on, man. Really, brother? I liked it. I, I would prefer her not to have fake nails and freaking toes done and stuff. She looked very modest. I play sports all the time. I don't, I don't got time for that type of stuff. Yeah. So. Your name and age? Uh, Braylon. I'm 37. Okay. And Braylon, why did you pop your balloon? Um, initially, I saw, I thought that she was beautiful, but it was too much weave. Um, the toes hanging off the shoes for me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I just kind of, <laughs> the toe oh was like she gripping the side of the shoe. Oh. So. Damn. <laughs> it's not even trying to be 
not even trying to be funny. It's just, that's, that's what I saw. <laughs> My coach. See, for these people are just trying to be funny and go viral, or they're actually just lacking something in their brains, which explains why they're on their show and they're single. What's your biggest turn off in the female? I think for me, you can be as gorgeous, you can be as cute, pretty fine, whatever. If you disrespect me, we can't do it. Nowadays, disrespect is cool. Yeah, I want me to uh, pop your... That's weak. I don't want that. Then that's extra baggage I got to take to work. I come home after a long day, and I know you're probably going to scream at me because I didn't do X, Y, Z. Instead of, babe, you could just talk to me. Just tell me. It ain't nothing, just tell me. We ain't gotta scream at each other. There's a way to tell me instead of, are oh, you this, you that. Tapping my dark places as a man. Keep talking. And that's it. Keep talking. Ah, that's, a, that's a good answer. So. This guy don't even seem like a donor, so I don't know why he's participating in this show. If you wanna find a good, respectable woman, it's unlikely you're gonna find her on a YouTube dating show. I shit them. Maybe we should make a dating show where you can actually find good mates instead of Kind of making a spectacle of people, in my opinion. Married man has to go home. <laughs> Can't even finish a damn game. No, no. This guy. Sam! Your missus is not your mother. You're a grown ass man. You don't go running home when she starts calling when you've already organized. The game just your started, dude. If you'd done this to me, I'd be so fucking pissed. You fucking ruined my bowling night. Oh. And if she don't get that, then she's not the one. I'm divorced. I thought I'd be happier. Except the judge set the child support amount at three hundred and twenty-six dollars a month. Three hundred and twenty-six dollars a month for two kids for child support is what he has to pay me. Three hundred and twenty-six dollars a month. <coughs> Sensational. She thought she was gonna get divorced and live off him for free, and now she's gonna have to get a job or another man that provides for her, which is unlikely because now she's a single mother of two. Congratulations. You played yourself. One thing I will never understand, a female will tell you to leave her alone, and when you leave them alone, they get mad at you and start yelling at you. Why are you yelling at me? Because I'm doing as you say. You told me to leave you alone, I'm going to just leave you alone, because why am I going to provoke you and make you more mad than you already are? I can never win in that certain situation. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, this... My man. They're learning young. It's thanks to us, the people in the sphere, the fucking internet. YouTube. As much as I hate YouTube, I also love YouTube at the same time. Kid gets it already, but someone needs to tell him to stop worrying about it and stop bothering with girls. He's too young. He's got to focus on himself. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Every alpha woman has the possibility of being submissive, but you need a guy that's you really need the right alpha. Guy, you yeah. need the right guy. You need the right guy. The more alpha the guy is, the more it's like, okay, I can, you know, I can trust you to be a man and I don't have to... Yeah, I, I can chill. When I'm around you, I can chill. Is that how you feel, though? Yeah, because... What, what, what kind of sweater is this? Why is there just holes everywhere in this particular sweater? It's already a somewhat see-through sweater. So you got to put more holes in it so you can see more parts of your, your chesticles coming out. Like, let's go on. Because certain, like, certain guys, you know, I could just take the piss with them. As I've said before, there's no such thing as alpha females. There's only the masculine ones that no one really wants to marry. That's what I was trying to tell you. Take the power out of it. I'm not worried about if my woman is cheating or not. So if you found out your woman cheated on you, you're going to stay with her? If I love her, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. First, let's ask, like, what kind of cheating is it? Like, is this somebody? Or do you, The first question should be, are you in love with this person? Okay. Right? Because if you're in love with... Game, if she cheated on you, that means she's not in love with you. But I'm, I'm not fighting for that. I'm dipping. Right. Right? Like, you're yeah. in love with the person, like... Right. Then let me allow y'all to, you know, be in love Stay with you. Stay in love. So you'll right. walk away. Um, well, for me, I'm dipping. Like, I'm dipping. Okay. I'm not staying if you're in love with somebody else. Right. That doesn't make sense for either um, either sex, either side of, the, you know, male or female. It just doesn't make Have sense. Have you ever taken someone back that walked away from you? Walked away from me or I walked away from. I've, I've, I've rewound the VCR a few times in my life. Yeah. Yeah, there's no working it out for me if she cheats. She belongs to the streets. It's just so funny to see women get rejected and they get so upset, so riled up and start listing off their accolades, which are accolades that us men don't give a fuck about. <laughs> Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. I'll give you the next time. Ciao.